Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the do's and don'ts about passwords and password reuse and why it's not a good idea to do so. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share, and let's get into it. Without further ado, let's get to work. All right, so we have a document here that I wrote up about do's and don'ts about passwords, right? So what we have here, what to do, right? We can use uppercase, lowercase, uh, in our passwords, symbols, and all that good stuff. Create different passwords across different accounts, right? Keep your password safe. Don't put it, you know, a sticky note, put it on your monitor. Don't do that. Uh, obviously, avoid giving out your password to others. Don't be like, hey, like, you want to check your email on my computer? Here's my password, and you can go ahead and do that. Don't do that. You're going to get in big trouble, and it's not a good idea. I know they say sharing is caring, but not in this case. So the things that you shouldn't do, don't, you know, don't. Obviously, don't use the same password across different platforms. You know, don't think because your password is online that it's that it's safe. You know, make sure you, you know, encrypt that password. Maybe use a password manager. And uh, I know even password managers today aren't safe either. So maybe it's best to keep your password on your keyboard. Just don't allow anyone in your room. Just kidding. That's a joke. All right, so don't hit, don't don't use like pets' names, kids' names, your date of birth, your phone number, your license number. So obviously, this is this is some don'ts. So take a screenshot of this. You can read it over. All right. So what I have here is a Kali Linux machine. So what I'm going to do is I have a Windows machine over on this screen, as you see. So I have a test environment. What I want to do is listen in on a uh, tool called Responder. So on my Kali machine, I can go ahead and hit Responder. And my interface is ETH0. And then I can hit Responder. And I want to try to go ahead and log in over here. And we captured this hash. So once the hash is captured, it goes into a log file. right? So I can just go ahead and skip that. If I come over here. I do an ls, I have this log file here. So if I cat, I know this is a little more, and now I have all these hashes. What does that mean, guys, right? What does that mean? So what I can do now, I think I uh, have the hash right there. So what this is, I'm gonna run against this LTLM v2 hash, right? So I'm using hashcat, which is a crack a password cracker, right? The mode is gonna be 5600, and then I, pasted my hash. And then the word list that I'm going to be using is at home infosec pat password.txt. So I have a list of passwords that I just created. And we'll see if that fancy password is in there. It's, it's easy to hit enter. And okay, so I already cracked it. So I can just hit dash dash show. So if you see down here, you know, Chris, sometimes it takes forever. So I did crack it before. So what you see down here is, I'm gonna zoom this in, right? So we have New York Rangers is the best team, 2023 pound. That was pretty, that's a pretty good password, right? I said, use it, you, you know, use a secure password. And this is seems pretty secure, but it's not because it was breached, right? This password was breached out on the internet. So what does that mean? So if you want, you can go ahead and go out to haveibeenpwned.com, right? So I can put a password in here, like for example, password. We can see that there's 9 million people in the world that use password as their password, and it's associated with different accounts. And you can look and you can, I'm not gonna get into the technical, technical the technicalities here, but you get the gist. So then you have, um, Crack station password directory, a uh, cracking directory. So there's a 15 gig password list that when when the credentials were were breached or hacked or whatever you want to call it, they put it into what's called the dark web or, or a breach database. And now folks in the cybersecurity space, they can get these word lists, put it into an offline cracking machine. And once I have, or once the attacker has your hash, you can run it through this cracking machine just like I just did. 
and voila, the password is cracked. So you can see how easy that is, right? So the way to stay safe, please don't share your password, just be careful. And how I got this password is on my Windows 11 machine. I can bring that over here really quick. I just authenticated, right? And there's multiple ways to do this. I'm gonna show one more way, which I think is pretty cool. But what we can do is get another hash another way, but stay tuned. So this is what I did. I just logged in as admin to the attacker machine. And yeah, it was just listening, uh, listening in at my, at my Kali machine. So there's another way you can do this. We can do what's called LNX, uh, LNK, right? So we can create a, let's just open up PowerShell, right? Let's just make this, let's make this full screen. Okay. Did I break it? I hope not. All right, let's zoom this in. Let's see if I can zoom this in. Can't. All right, yes, I can do it like that. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead. I wish I would have copied and pasted it, but I have a picture from my notes. So what I want to do is just do dollar object shell. I guess I can't. And then we're gonna do equals new. Yes, I can't. Oh, okay. New object. Okay. And then um, object. Script. I guess this is going to w script dot shell. Okay. And the next line I'm gonna do, I wish I would've just copied and pasted because I'm the worst typer, so sorry about that. So LNK equals, huh? all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this quick and fast forward, right? All right, so now what we can do is I want to go ahead and open up the Kali machine again. And let me go ahead and listen in. Go back to, and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just browse out to that. So let me just go to uh, Windows, C, Windows, Tasks. Okay, so it's right here, right? So now we can go back, let's go ahead, go back here, and we got another hash, right? So those are the, you know, multiple ways that, and this is, that's super effective, right? Because we can put that file somewhere on a file server or somewhere that we know users are gonna go log into. And then if we come back here, let's do an LS, and we can see, more, you know, if we cat, uh, do, 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 do. We cat this out, we can see that there's more hashes now than before, right? So yeah, that's pretty much the ways to capture the hashes, how to crack the, um, crack the hashes. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. Thank you so much for viewing. Until next time, have a good one.